Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of the NBA All-Star Game. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan. Well, we know basketball is a game that's all about team success and team achievement, even here in the NBA. But this game, the All-Star Game, gives a nod to the great individual talents this league has to offer. And those talents will be showcased in an entertaining fashion here today. Yeah, a lot of fun to watch, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. And it gives these players that spotlight and recognition that they so rightfully deserve, thanks to their terrific play during the regular season. And, of course, their important contributions to their teams. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. First, for the East All-Stars, Derrick Rose is out there with Dwayne Wade. And inside, out of Stanford University, a skilled post scorer with tremendous size, the seven-footer, Brooke Lopez. And it's LeBron James. And it's Anthony in at the four spot. And then, for the West All-Stars, Holiday out there with Kobe. And it's center the most dominant physical presence in the NBA, the elite defensive big man, Dwight Howard. And it's Durant, and it's Duncan in at the four spot. You know, I think one thing that makes the All-Star game so special is just the history involved. This event has been held since 1951, and a lot of those legends of the NBA past are here in attendance. When the players step out on the court, you know, Steve, they know that they're writing their names in the pages of history. Yeah, they're, they're really making their mark uh, on this Sunday night, but at the same time, you know, they've just got to focus on playing the game. And, and uh, sometimes you get caught up in the atmosphere and, and the moment, uh, but for these players, it's all about just focusing on the game and, and trying to enjoy themselves. Every All-Star game you can count on, you're going to see some heart-stopping plays. That was another one. LeBron outside. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. You know, it's always such a big to do, a major event, a big time happening every time the All Star game comes to town. Cities vie to host a big show, and it's a big boom to the local economy. Yeah, restaurants, hotels, nightlife. It's, it's one big celebration, and there's always that buzz in the air every time the All Stars gather to play. The shot, no good. Well, it never gets old to see the incredible talent on display here at All-Star Weekend. Yes. This year is no different. Well, pretty much all of the events are a lot of fun to watch, and uh, it's a combination of tremendous skill and entertainment. You can't beat it. Pass to Duncan. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Rose against Holiday. Lopez kicks to Rose. Lopez sets a screen for Rose. Wait up top. Lopez outside. Just five to shoot. The East All-Stars need to get another shot. And the basket by Rose. And how about the season he's had to this point? He's been so solid. Just having a, a terrific year. Yeah, guys. I mean, pretty much from game one of the season, he's been playing some of his best basketball ever. Now here's Kobe. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. And the East with some changes. Love comes in for Dwight Howard. And it's Harden in for Tim Duncan. The West All-Stars shooting their first free throw of the night here. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Irving kicks to Anthony. Nene with the screen on Durant. He feeds it to LeBron. Back to Anthony. Again, the miss by Anthony. Here's Harden. Can't get it to go. And we reach the end of the first quarter. It's the West All-Stars. They lead by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute.
And we welcome you back to the NBA All-Star Game as we get set to begin the second quarter. And Kevin, already some highlight real play. Yeah, they're playing at a nice tempo right now, Clark, giving the fans a show. Well, you know, you always want your side to win, but I, I think it's pretty common that we, we don't see too many fouls in these games year to year. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, I think we usually see a few here and there because guys are also reacting based on instinct, playing the game similar to how they know how to play basketball. But aside from that, we usually aren't going to see too many whistles. Irving can't hit. Well, one thing we're noticing here tonight, both teams pretty much taking care of the ball, which is impressive in a game like this. Yeah, it really is, Steve. I mean, typically in a game like this, the players and teams can be a little loose, but that hasn't been the case so far. And Holiday, here we go. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, he's established himself as one of the league's premier clutch performers, you know, with some unbelievable plays down the stretch of, of tight ball games. And I know he's a fan favorite because he can catch fire immediately at any point in the ball game and just start pouring it in from all over the place. That free throw good from Harden. And some changes here for the East. J.R. Smith's checked in for LeBron. Ariza comes in for Dwayne Wade. And John Walls subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And so he makes both from the line. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. And Wall gets to a reason. Back to Wall. Left side wall. Smith left side. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Now here is Harden on the wing Evans. Outside Conley. Pass to Harden. Lock at six. Turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Well, playing in the All-Star game, something to really be proud of. And, of course, the starters are voted in by the fans. The reserves are voted in by the coaches. Either way, it's a heck of an honor. Now, Wall. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Smith the pass to Wall. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's his first foul. Kyrie Irving is checked in for John Wall. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half of basketball. LeBron drives in. Shot clock at five. He kicks it to Irving. Here's Smith. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That one's on Evans. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The East All-Stars shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. First free throw is good, and the East All-Stars making a change here. He hits both from the strike. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Holiday with the three. The shot is off. Second quarter ends in a tight one. 
West All-Stars lead by two. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And on one of the great nights of the NBA season, welcome to the All-Star Game and the Halftime Report here on 2K Sports. It's been the West All-Stars scrapping it out. They haven't settled on tough shots. They're taking it strong inside. They're getting quality shots and a lot of quantity of those quality shots. And on the other side, the East All-Stars are also putting up good numbers. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. That'll be it for the Halftime Report. The second half is coming right up. Hope to see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And we return to the NBA All-Star Game. One half is in the books, and the second half about to begin. And a great first half of basketball it was. Now, it's been a lot of fun, and we'll see if they can take it up a notch here in the second half. Inside, and then Wade slams it in. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. No doubt, Clark. The pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. Well, Derrick Rose is back for his fourth All-Star game after missing last year, recovering from the knee injury. And he said that this game doesn't really hold much in more for him. He's all about the real action, but he clearly is a deserving All-Star, too. Kobe with the bucket. He's one of the elite scorers in league history, able to create space for his shot with unbelievable footwork and ball handling ability, fundamentals, and of course, unfazed by an aggressive defender. Well, he's used to being the focal point of a defense, so that doesn't bother him at all, never phases him. It also doesn't phase him when he misses shots. He always believes he's a shot away from going on a run, and he's always hungry for buckets. And that one's good, Anthony. And back to Derrick Rose, former Rookie of the Year in 2009, league MVP in 2011. It's good for the league, and you've mentioned this many times, to have him back, Stephen Action. No doubt. We've seen a, a spate of injuries from the league's stars over the last year or two, whether it's you know, Rose, Westbrook, Kobe Bryant, of course. Injury is always a part of the game, but, boy, you just need to see the, the great talents miss time. A little bit of a magic act here, pulling off the Houdini to make that catch and slam. Stupendous, stupendous alley-oop. This crowd just stunned at the sight of that one. Here's Rose, following the basket by Dwight Howard. Wade, guarded by Kobe. And it's Rose, penetrating. Back to Wade. Six on the shot clock. The shot, no good. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Look from Holiday. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Bart. Here's Anthony. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Anthony's got four points in the quarter. The soft finger roll is just one of the many finishing moves he has in his bag of shot making. Three quarters of play in a close game here. West All-Stars out in front, leading by three. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Welcome, everyone, back to our coverage of the NBA All-Star Game. A great night of basketball here on 2K Sports. And the fans definitely getting top value for their money. Yeah, always some great highlight reel plays with this All-Star caliber talent. The pass to Durant. The baseline J. The shot is off. The East All-Stars go the other way with it. And here they come. Wade dishes to LeBron. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Kyrie Irving is checked in for the East. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the West All-Stars. And they keep piling up the assist. Got a great ball move. They've also been pounding it inside tonight and coming away with a lot of points in the paint. I call those PIPs. Up 
top, Kobe, covered by Anthony. It's Durant with the drive. Back to Kobe. Takes a three. Good on the shot. Well, as you'd expect, not much defense being played. Yeah, that's one for the fans. I mean, the fans want scoring. That's what they're going to get tonight. Wade outside. Anthony up on top. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. James Harden. He's checked in for Kobe. Just a tiny lead for him. Yeah, but a chance to make it grow here. Outside Holiday. It's Durant with the drive. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Back to LeBron. Now the dish to Irving. Kicks to Lopez. Outside Irving. Passes it to LeBron. Back to Irving. Shot clock at six. Money! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. Clark, they'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. Watch out now. Duncan is caught by it. Just over a minute and a half put here in the fourth. LeBron gets to Irving. Buries it. And that shot sucked the life out of the whole build. Well, that was a big one, Clark. You can hear it. Yeah, that was a gut punch right there. These fans, oh, man, they're struggling. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you've got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And now they decide to foul intentionally. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Two-possession game now, so strategically everything changes a little bit. Those were very important foul shots. Timeout called East All-Stars. They trail by four. 17 seconds left to play here on the fourth. That's your take, guys. And obviously time is the big factor here, guys. They need to get points fast and then go for the steal, and if not, a quick foul. Hard as it is, you just have to hope the guy you send to the line doesn't convert. He dishes it to Rose. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. They both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Timeout called East all -Stars. They're down by six. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? I think they have to go for a three right now, don't you, Clark? Yeah, I don't think they have any choice but to go for the three, Steve. Eight seconds left in the fourth. LeBron passes to Rose, and here's Anthony for three. Cannot hit. 
So it's the West Coast Cards picking up the win. And guys, I really like the way they gelled as a team out there. They'll take the bragging rights home for the rest of the season. Of course, nobody's too worried about the outcome in this game. They're just happy to have played it. And we're happy to have brought it to you. So for Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching and good night, everyone.